so cilantro parsley sweet basil basil mm -hmm. um so not any kind of basil just sweet basil basil oh, family oh, okay. yeah, yeah. All right. um in the winter time mm -hmm. towards the winter time maybe rosemary you can add oh okay so in the fall time yes ma'am mm -hmm. then squash watercress squash squashish all the squash family yeah is good for both of you oh okay, okay. so michael can have a nice uh, squash family like well zucchini but the like the winter squash yes butternut squash oh. white squash pumpkin what else we have i don't know the names but i see a lot of variety yeah. in the market specifically in the fall season i see hundreds of varieties of I the know. squashes yeah. but so i don't know the names yeah but the general family of the squash yeah. is awesome for michael oh okay and you can also have it a little bit you can also enjoy that. Yeah, I love squashes. Yes. Which is not too much. Yeah, that's why I say. I see. Uh, because it is a lot of watery. Oh, so it I is see. a cooling agent. That's why you don't like, you enjoy it, but you don't like it a lot. Michael can have it awesome. Oh, okay. And, so it's okay, it's for healing him. for him. So as he is a runner and as he is an athlete and as he runs for five five miles and ten miles in yeah. one shot then it's good for him to use the squash family okay michael underline that m michael. yeah i started okay so uh, michael can have more of the cucumber more of the cilantro more of the uh, squash family cucumber family for an athlete because see, understand the athletes, because when they're doing all these marathons and when they're running like 13 miles and mm -hmm. 25 miles and 10 miles, mm -hmm. a lot of action, a lot of, as a massage therapist, I have seen this, that a lot of muscle tightness and stiffness comes along with that. Yeah, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. and when I'm working on these clients specifically through the massage i feel the stiffness in them yes. and that acid accumulates into the muscle and this yes. is why i need this diet for michael yes okay okay so the cucumber is good for him. yeah can i have, can i have the cucumber yeah, absolutely do you see that my percentage of giving cucumber to you well in that salad didn't we make that yeah, exactly. Okay, I okay. love cucumber. Okay, perfect. But it's not too watery, huh? That's why you remember one day I gave only two to three slices of cucumber to you, yeah. not like a bunch of cucumber. Yeah. And in the salad, you had 100 options along with it. So cucumber was the base, but you added sesame seeds oh, and see. almonds and raisins, and you added a lot other things in the food. Yeah, so Got that... It? That offsets it? Yes, that takes care of it. How do you learn that? <laughs> it's a practice. Okay. You, you have to right. live with it. Yeah. You practice okay. it, you, you observe in your clients, you observe what you're teaching to them, what they're doing, next time how do they feel. All these changes. Every client I do a different change. Every client I teach differently. Mm -hmm. There is not a one paper I will hand out to them. No. no. Because no. you are very special and unique. And the way you live life is totally different than the next person. Yeah. So I make all the changes right. on the physical level, mental level, emotional level, spiritual level, social level, as well as their food, their diet, their lifestyle, as well as their content of the food their herbs, their spices, everything is different for each client. Mm -hmm. The another uh, vegetables. Yeah. Uh, radishes are good for you. Okay. But uh, radishes can be too much for Mike. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I don't know how you are writing all of this, but <laughs> radishes are good for you in enough quantity. Mm -hmm. But for Michael, it will be too piercy. How about turnips, like spring turnips? Yeah, the same. Like, Radish and turnip, almost like same qualities. Oh, 
qualities are same family is same yeah. but for you when you do the the vegetables like uh, uh, beetroot and carrot i will suggest you for your body type um you can steam them or boil them before you use them or saute at least cook it properly when you want to eat beetroot and carrot for sure i do yeah okay do. even the okay. radish the same okay and so use, don't eat it raw yeah and use a nice ghee the uh, the medicated ghee which okay. i'm giving you yeah. i would like you to start cooking with that yeah i've been cooking with it. thank you i've been cooking so with so these your three ghee. vegetables specifically yeah. i will i will make carrot beet yes and the uh, radish or turnips or sweet potatoes i love sweet potatoes okay so imagine like this way the uh, the 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 grounding vegetables or the earthy vegetables mm-hmm. or you can imagine like this way like uh, um the mm, root vegetables maybe in the modern term in the morning modern terminology the oh, root veg yes, yeah yes, root uh-huh. vegetables right so green beans are good for both of you okay okay green beans um you cook the green beans the way i taught you the different combinations of herbs and spices and ghee and cooking oil so imagine like that way when you are cooking the beans when you are cooking all these vegetables Mhm. Okay, do it in a whole form of the food. When you say whole form, what that means you add some oil, then you add some dry herbs, then you add some wet herbs, then you add then you add the vegetable, then you add some salt and pepper. Oh, yeah. Sure. Like that wholeness should be there, not like dumping all together and letting it cook. Oh, yes. Okay, like step by step. Thank you. The process, the transitions are important. transformation yes it? ma'am absolutely you are getting it now okay yeah that's all about the cooking now legumes different legumes good for you so for you there is a best uh, call it as a urad dal that means the black lentil what is that urad u r a d oh urad oh okay urad okay okay black lentil okay black lentils mm-hmm. and uh, moong beans mm-hmm. and you can also have a tur dal which is like a pigeon uh, pigeon beans how do you spell it tur p uh, pigeon a tur how do you spell that t o o r tur tur dal okay okay so but michael cannot have that See, Michael can have it with a bunch of cilantro in it. Oh. Okay. And a little bit less thick, thick. Okay. But you can have it very well. Do you understand now the difference? So Michael with the cilantro, mm-hmm. you can have it with the ghee. You both can add the ghee into it. When yeah. you are eating, okay? okay. Michael is also fine. You are also fine when you are. E- because your body type as well as his body type this way can help you be sure dal yes okay okay make sure you have a the ghee which i gave you yes okay, okay? the cooking ghee yes okay beautiful are you understanding now yeah, because you are trying to not not create the inflammation from that food okay so you are adding the alkaline topic into it So you're balancing it out before you're offering it. Oh, so what stops that? What stops the acidity? Ghee. Oh, really? And for my cilantro. Oh, it's different for each of us. No matter what food. No. So the qualities are same, but you can have it, Michael, it oh, it with the turdal. Turdal. Yeah. Turdal. Turdal we're talking about the turdal. Okay. Okay. So we got the spices for you, we got the vegetables for you, we got the legumes for you. So these were done were done urad urad moong and, and tur. It has to be soaked before cooking. 
Yes, half hour, is that enough? Or two. two hours. Mm -hmm. You are a very early morning people. You both, like, you know, you wake up at 4.30, 5.00, You guys have enough time in the morning. So you can definitely soak it when you wake up. Yes, okay. Okay? Like people like me, who wakes up later, yeah. you know? Running with the time. You know, you, at the time, at least soak it. Too soak hours. it a little bit. Okay. Um, for the dairy in Ayurveda, for your body type, yeah. the best dairy for you, okay, ghee is the best. Then you uh, create, see, probiotic, you talk, uh, we talk probiotics, Ayurveda talks about probiotic from the long time, but the probiotic preparation in Ayurvedic way is like making... Now, it's hard to make the yogurt at home, but uh, but if I give you a culture, will you like to make it at home? Yeah, I'd like to try it. Okay. So, I will give you the culture. Okay. okay? Um, maybe you, 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 can, um, you can create the probiotic, which is uh, fresh. There is no gelatin and there is no stickiness and there is no preservatives in it. The store bought the container what you gave me. Yes. Uh, I prefer the fresh. Oh, I see. So if so you that's got see, extra stuff in it. yeah. So in the Indian culture, the habit is like this. Okay. So you wake up in the morning, you make your teas and herbs and decoctions and all of that. At the same time, you boil the milk at one side, uh -huh. and then when you are doing this, the milk is boiling on its own. Uh -huh. Okay. Then when it calms down, cools down with a specific temperature that mm -hmm. uh, uh, like, you know, you can dip it very easily. That is enough temperature for the milk to add the culture. Oh, I see. And then yeah. for one small container of that Pyrex, if you boil that much milk, the small container of the Pyrex, the blue topic, the the glass container of Pyrex. Oh, yes, yes. yes. Right? The so very small maybe like it's like big. a 16 ozone or maybe 24 ozone, I believe. This size? Yeah. There's one this size. Yeah. And then one this size. Not the baby one. Well, there's a baby one like this. So, baby size. one is good enough for you for one time. Oh, okay. okay. That is, I believe, 8 ozone or something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and that one you, you can divide with Michael also a little bit with cilantro. Okay, but if you want a fresh probiotic, you make it in the morning time. Yeah. And then you make the buttermilk out of it. That is something Ayurveda has always praised because it takes care of our small intestine. So I would take the yogurt that I've made, right? Blend it in the blender. Or you can do like this. This is a this is a manthana process to make the yogurt, uh, the buttermilk, which we don't do in the United you know, States. But I will show you that thing which I have, okay. which is made up of the earthy element, like wood. And you make it with it. Oh, you will amaze. You will see amazed. If I find it, I will get it one for you. Okay. 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 So that is the one you can do. So, um, yeah, I think, so. Uh, so yogurt plus water plus a little bit of salt, blend, mixer, buttermilk. How about that? That's better. That's what you're looking for. <laughs> so a little pinch of salt. Mm-hmm. Okay, and whole milk is definitely better for you, you guys, yeah. 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 But I will suggest you uh, whole milk mm -hmm. um, in the morning time, mm -hmm. okay, and afternoon time buttermilk, okay. Create a habit like this, morning time butter, uh, milk, boiling milk, the way so you learn. So do the turmeric and the tea? Yes, ma'am. So like that, that is your morning key, a morning uh, drink. Sure. That's a... Uh, that's uh, full of antioxidant, yeah. full of uh, nutritive stuff. It's like a rejuvenating drink for a kaya kalpa in Ayurveda. 
So, do I put the cooking key in there or the eating on your food key? Eating on the food key. Oh, I've been wrong. using the wrong <laughs> yeah. No, it's okay. Okay. But still, it is That's going fine. in. That is the base, right? Okay, so turmeric, ghee. Yeah. Milk. And milk. That is your morning. And you can put a little bit of, if you want, cardamom or cinnamon in it. Oh, really? To make it more antioxidant. And cinnamon or cinnamon? or cinnamon or and plus everything that's why you like my teas cardamom and cinnamon okay a little pinch of clove is fine with you for your body type okay that is awesome for you and okay. nutmeg also a pinch of nutmeg is awesome for your body oh, type really? oh yeah i love nutmeg yeah so do it so nutmeg is also good for vata people and specifically in the vata body type we use nutmeg and clove for pacifying and balancing the vata dosha in the body okay good now we can we did the spices do i have to do that first thing in the morning eat that first thing yeah you can do this drink in the morning time like can i have it at 8 30 or are you talking about the minute i get up Early in the morning, after your dinacharya, after your bowel moment, after oh, your after all that. Absolutely. I was doing it before. So if we if we have a, I see, can do it after. Yeah. Okay. So clean your bowel. Yeah. Before you eat. Oh, I see. Well, if I'm lucky to have one. Yeah. That's what I. That's why I stopped then. Work on yeah. That, let's right? work it on. Yeah. Let's create these habits so that you can get rid of your constipation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Now, to, uh, so I think we talked about the, uh, do you want me to talk about the meat also? Sure. Do you eat meat? I've been eating chicken, yeah. Chicken, okay. Chicken and salmon. Okay, how often do you eat chicken and salmon? So salmon, maybe, uh, I take a small piece, like this much. Okay, do you boil it or saute it? Saute how do you in ghee. Saute in ghee, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So and the chicken, I'll have, I'll have more than, I could have it three times a week easily. So can you do me a favor then yeah, in that case? Uh, like as you are a typical Vata person. Mm -hmm. See, Ayurveda never said, uh, uh, see, see what happens. There is a concept of taking the broth mm -hmm. rather than the flesh. Mm -hmm. If you want for the physical body. Oh. Did you get it, what I say? Yeah, you make broth instead with the fresh chicken. That can be a little bit more healing and nourishing compared, compared not the sattvic though. It's more like a rajasic or tamasic food. Yeah. Uh, no? But uh, see if that can help you. It's okay, whatever you do with your meat part, I will leave it. Okay, so, okay. but if I'm getting the, the legumes and the grain, yes, that's enough protein. Yeah, thank you. See, there is a concept of Jainism in, I, uh, in India. Uh -huh. Do you, have you ever heard about the Jain? You like a Buddha? Yeah, you don't, you don't hurt nothing. No? You don't the, like hurt an ant, you don't hurt anything. Thank you, you know that then. How do you know that? It drives me nuts because... They don't even want to hurt a bacteria and virus. So they always have a mask around their nose. That's what the Jainism is. Yeah, okay. A little too far for me. Okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So they think that much spirituality. They follow and practice that much spirituality. Do no harm. Yeah, right. Forget about us. <laughs> so that's a different topic. Yeah. Off of the hook maybe. Yeah. But what I mean to say is like you can do this way. Okay, you can do whatever way you want your meat okay. because I don't want you to talk about the meat. I, I think you, I, you made, I made you understand the logics of the meat and how it works on the physical body and how it works on the physiological, uh, psychological body and how the meat works on the emotional body. Right? Does it make you irritable? Would it make you yes. irritable? Yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But that is, let's not talk about that. That's where I was telling you, Rajasik and Tamasik concepts comes in yeah. because of that. Oh, okay. Because of the meat. 
Okay. That's a that's a very big topic. Maybe take it take it slow. Think about it. Whatever you do to yourself, do the best. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It should not be sudden and drastic and anything which which will not make you comfortable. Yeah. Okay. So I can taper it off if I do. Thank okay. you. Yeah. That is what the uh, there is a phrase in Ayurveda for that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Everything in Ayurveda is we think like that way. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. So nuts specifically uh, in uh, your case, uh, as you are a typical vata, uh, I will suggest maybe. Uh, Cashews are good for us. Um, almonds are good for us. And then... Pecans and walnuts. Soaked pecans and walnuts. Pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds. You can use them, but you can soak them before you use them. I think this is good enough for you to start your journey and the oil specifically um you you do the uh, ghee and uh, olive oil and then uh, you get if you want peanut oil you did very well with the peanut oil so if you feel like that then maybe a little bit of ghee little bit of peanut oil little bit of olive oil and you know where to use the olive oil right and you know where and if you want you can also use um uh, the sunflower oil yeah okay. but i will suggest ghee and uh peanut and then olive and then sunflower sequencing oh, so think. just go with the sequencing like this mm -hmm. maybe a little bit or you can play with your or food or if if i i mean i really mostly use ghee yeah for cooking is that okay yeah okay that, is that okay absolutely Oh. Absolutely. So now, I mean, that's good for my body. yes, your body type. That is perfectly fine. Okay. So, uh, would you like to chant? Are you done with the food concept now? The only thing I need to know is the cashews or almonds. Do I need to soak them or just eat them like everything? That? You can soak it before you use everything it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But sesame seeds, while coming and going, you can chew it nicely. Yeah. Soaking is going to enhance the pranic healing in in the food. So that's why you soak oh, the food. Really? Oh. Okay. So that's the reason Ayurveda says that eat the food in a specific way so that food can be your best healing factor or food can be your best medicinal aspect. Food can heal you. I, oh, I totally believe that. Okay. You do it right. Yeah. So okay. your mantra? Yeah. Do you want to chant once? And let me see how you are doing so I can uh, correct a little bit it's not um, correcting though I, I wanted to put it on my phone because I I, 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 I looked at the um, Ganesha one and I thought I, I, I can't even pronounce this now okay uh, where did I put it? so the mantra the healing uh, with the mantra and our mantra is uh, Mahamrityunjaya Mantra. So that yes. Mahamrityunjaya Mantra you are chanting. Yeah. This one, Ganesha Graha. Okay. Oh, yeah, do it. I, I don't even know how to do it anymore. Just start. It will come. Ganesha Graha Naksh Nakshatra Nakshatra Let's do it together. That's what I'm saying. Okay. It's okay. okay. Ganesha Graha Nakshatra Ganesha Graha Nakshatra Yogini Rashi Rupani Yogini Rashi Devim mantra, Devim mantra, Maim Naomi, Naim Naomi, Matri Kampita Rupanim, Matri Kampita Rupanim, 
Beautiful. Okay. Let's do the. Let me just put that on my phone. Can I? Yeah. Or I can record it outside for you. Record it out there. Yeah. Then we will we'll do it together. Oh, okay. Okay. Right, that'd be fine. Um, second mantra. Okay. Um, yes. Um, so. Do I do that one? Mm -hmm. Om. 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 Yajamahe. Sukandim. Pushtim. Vardhanam Urvaruk Meva Bandhana Mrityor Mukshim Yamamruta Uh, Gayatri Mantra Any other questions? Um, if you have questions, write it down for me. Yeah. You can chant this for one minute, one or two minutes, all these three mantra ones together, okay. Okay. and then I will take you on the table. Okay. Okay? All right. 